Gujarat has the longest coastline of 1663 kilometers among the Indian states. Saurashtra region of Gujarat has a total coastal length of 1134 kilometers and total geographic area of 60.95 lakh hectares. The climate is dry, subhumid with very low average rainfall ranging between 300 to 800 mm annually. Excessive withdrawal of groundwater has caused salinity increase and contamination of groundwater aquifers. The rising sea level, change in precipitation patterns and extreme events is expanding the process of salinization in this part of the coastal area. It is estimated that 7 lakh hectares of coastal land in Saurashtra is in the process of losing its fertility because of salinity problem. To comprehend the reason as to why the groundwater aquifers are getting contaminated, we first have to understand what is happening deep inside the earth crust. The problem of salinity ingress was first detected in the late 60s and early 70s due to massive exploitation of groundwater due to introduction of water lifting pump sets in the region. The salinity ingress consequently was a result of the disruption of the natural hydrological balance between fresh water and sea water in coastal areas. In addition to this hydrological imbalance, sea water enters inland through streams, rivers and creeks. Thus, the groundwater sources become contaminated. The adverse impacts of salinity ingress are most pronounced on potable water, agriculture and animal husbandry. A baseline survey conducted by Coastal Salinity Prevention Cell (CSPC) of 954 salinity affected coastal villages in 2008 reported that 59% of villages are under fully or partially saline category. Consequently, these coastal villages also face major problems in accessing groundwater for potable use. Now let us understand how it affects us individually socially and economically saline water may have direct implication on our health kidney stone dehydration skin disease loss of digestive capacity and many such problems are reported extensively in salinity hit areas increased salinity intrusion in the groundwater aquifers affect the productivity of the crop adversely as the root of the crop cannot absorb the necessary nutrients and water from the soil It is observed at some places that due to continuous irrigation with saline water calcium and magnesium carbonate gets accumulated as a result the soil becomes hard which further prevents the rainwater to percolate into the ground and help recharge The high salinity in soil results in higher use of water fertilizer and seeds increasing the expenses High salinity in water and soil affects agricultural productivity and reduces employment opportunity in agricultural sector and results in high rates of migration. Now let's see how salinity in grass affects animal husbandry. Cattle rearing is considered to be one of the most important income source for the farmers. Due to the salinity in grass, the fodder production for livestock gets affected. Animal refuse to drink high saline water. The digestive capacity of cattle decreases due to which the milk production capacity of the cattle also gets hit. Overall, cattle rearing becomes an unprofitable occupation. Coastal salinity is an alarming concern. Groundwater sources in coastal areas are rapidly degrading due to urbanization, commercialization and heavy industrialization. Immediate actions are needed to manage and prevent saltwater intrusion to ensure a sustainable development and socio-economic growth of the coastal regions of the country. CSPC is working towards addressing the issues caused by salinity ingress for more than a decade now. As the salinity challenge is now emerging in other parts of India and world, CSPC is well poised to take its learning to other geographies.